Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a new StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm video. Today we're going to be talking about Queen Injects. Queen Injects are absolutely crucial if you want to improve as Zerg. And for the most part, if you're like below Platinum League, the one thing you need to do to actually get to Platinum League is better Queen Injects. Honestly, Queen Injects are absolutely, absolutely crucial because any kind of build order that you follow is going to be irrelevant if you don't Queen Inject properly. Um, any kind of, you know, just timing push that you want to execute is going to be irrelevant if you don't do your Queen injects properly because you simply are not you know you're not able to make as many drones as you possibly can but you're also not able to actually get the economy up to build the army eventually now queen injects are likely the most important thing as a zerg player that is discussed the least like queen injects are absolutely crucial to everything the reason why pro gamers never talk about queen injects is because they basically are doing it by second nature they are having absolutely zero problems doing it because they've been doing it for the last 40 games that they've been playing and the 40 games before that and the day before that and the day before that. They've just been doing it all the time. If you're a newer Zerg player ever, Queen injects are absolutely crucial. Now people have been asking what kind of ways I prefer to inject with and there's actually two different methods that I would like to discuss in this specific video. The first one is actually quite simple. This is what I tend to use in the early part of the game. Because in the early part of the game there's always a lot more time. I um, mean you can actually um, separately control each queen. So what I like to do is actually use the F hotkeys which I set up to be my camera hotkeys um, to control individual bases. So I will have F1 which is my main base, select the main queen, inject with it and then go on to the next base. So this is a little bit of a slower method but the reason why I like it is because you can actually uh, control each queen individually. Especially in the early part of the game you need to hit every single queen inject. So you cannot really like have a queen sitting around with like 10 energy and not injecting for 10 seconds because you're basically in that case just putting yourself behind unnecessarily. Now this is one of the methods that a lot of programmers like to use. However when you get to a later part of the game these kind of inject methods actually start slacking quite heavily because it's kind of difficult to actually keep Keep in mind that you need to inject and once you're actually pushing out and you're fighting versus your opponent this is actually a pretty slow method as well because you're basically spending like five seconds every time um, you're injecting like this and it, in the end it's just not very efficient when you're actually trying to micro banelings and trying to inject at the same time so for that I tried to use a different kind of method now this is the method that I've been getting the most questions about by far it's the so-called backspace method but I actually have rebound my backspace to the spacebar so let's jump straight into the Starcraft 2 set so I can show you it a little bit easier. So here we are in the actual game. Now the first thing you will need to do is actually set up a couple of hotkeys. So first of all, I'm gonna go into the options and into the hotkey setup right here. Now I tend to use the grid hotkey setup, which is just my preference, but I've got a couple of keys that I adjusted. And in order to actually execute it the way that I do it, you will need to use the grid hotkey setup or use a separate hotkey to inject. And most and foremost, you're gonna have to adjust this one hotkey right here called base camera. The standard hotkey for this is backspace. However, I have adjusted it to the spacebar because if you take a look at your keyboard the backspace button is just really really far away really inconvenient so I tend to use the spacebar button uh, for this every single time so just go into the global camera settings go to the base camera hotkeys and hit down spacebar whenever it asks you to I have just set up a secondary hotkey but honestly I could be deleting this one now before jumping into an actual game let's actually talk about um, how my hand is moving around the keyboard so usually what happens is one two and three are actually my um one is usually like my Zergling army, then two is like my Mutalisk army, and three is like Banelings or Spellcasters or whatever. Um, four is going to be all my hatchery, so that's an important hotkey. And five is going to be all my queens. Now this is the most important one. In order to execute this queen inject method, you will need to have all your queens hotkeyed to at least one hotkey. I tend to be using hotkey number five, however if you're more comfortable with something else, obviously use what you use. Now like I said, X is going to be my hotkey for queen inject, and spacebar is going to be my hotkey for um, the base camera hotkey. So basically what Spacebar will do, whenever I tap that, it will switch between the hatcheries that I have available. Let's say I have about five hatcheries available. Whenever I hit the Spacebar, it will actually cycle between each individual um, hatchery that I do have available. Now in order to queen inject properly, what I need to do is first of all, move my mouse to the middle part of the screen, which is always where my hatchery is located once I actually hit the spacebar. So my mouse is going to the middle part of the screen. That is first and foremost the most important thing to do. Then I select all my queens, which is the five hotkey. I hold down shift and shift actually allows me to queue up the larva inject button. So what I do is hit five, hold down shift and hit X. X is basically my hotkey um, to hit the queen inject. After that, the only thing that I need to do is actually hit spacebar to center on a hatchery, hit click, 
Then once more hit spacebar, hit click. Then once more hit spacebar, hit click. Hit once more spacebar, click, spacebar, click. So in the end, really quickly what happens, I select my queens, hold down shift, hit the X button, which is my queen inject button. Then I hit spacebar, click, spacebar, click, spacebar, click, spacebar, click. Now what I actually tend to do is actually both spam the X button and the spacebar button for whatever reason. That's how I taught my brain to do it. It's not necessary, but here's what it usually would look like if I'm actually trying this out versus a real opponent. I hit five. And then just basically do it like that. And it's actually pretty easy to execute. Okay, so here we are in an actual game. Now, first of all, what does the base camera hold key do? Well, as soon as I hit spacebar, it will actually cycle between all the hatcheries. This is definitely one of the most important buttons when it comes to StarCraft 2 in general, but especially if you want to use this Queen Inject method, it is going to be absolutely crucial. Now, next up, as you can see, four is going to be all my hatcheries and five is going to be all my queens. So as soon as I hit five, all my queens are actually selected. Now, the X button right here, as you can see, is the spawn larva button. So so if I hit that, I will actually be able to inject. Now what I'm gonna do is select all my queens, hold down shift, click X, and click space, click in the middle of my screen, hit space, click in the middle of my screen, hit space, click in the middle of the screen, and just continue like that. So let's have a look at how long this would actually take if I try this in real time. I'm gonna start with this once the 12 minute mark hits. I already selected all my queens, uh, but how many seconds does it take to inject five hatcheries, or six hatcheries rather right there? And it takes pretty much absolutely no time whatsoever. It took me a couple of seconds, I actually made a slight mess up right there. But you can just see how easy this is to actually inject. So let's say what could be happening is that I'm actually microing right here. I just hit 5-5, five, five, start injecting and go back with 1-1, one, one, which would be my army hotkey. So I can literally inject as many bases as I want, as long as I have queens around to inject with them. Um, and basically just inject all my bases within couple of seconds. So yeah, I hope this video cleared up some confusion when it comes to my queen injects. Keep in mind there's about a billion different ways you can actually queen inject in StarCraft 2, so you will need to figure out exactly what you find most comfortable. However, if you manage to do these inject methods properly, you will definitely improve a ton as a Zerg player. Keep in mind to always have the queen injects at the top of your Zerg priority list uh, before really doing anything else in StarCraft 2. Uh, whenever you try a build order, whenever you try a timing push, queen injects are absolutely crucial. So thank you guys over watching please let me know right below that like button in the comment section below what you thought of this video and other than that i want to thank you guys over watching have an amazing day do not forget to smile and i will see you in the next starcraft 2 video bye hello everyone my name is loco and welcome to a new starcraft 2 heart of the swarm video Today we're going to be discussing a pretty, you know, a pretty difficult build order for Zerg versus Protoss. This is a build order that...